some people do that, that diversity, inclusion, and, and race equity issue, but oftentimes they would not mention the issue of racism. More. It stands for Movement in Omaha for Racial Equity, a nonprofit recently launched to help combat racism and anti-Semitism in our area. And it started off originally about 10 years ago, and it was a group of progressive Omahans getting together, having dinner, talking about uh, progressive issues and, again, the various topics that are out there. The organization is led by a volunteer board headed up by Ajamal Binden, a lifelong Nebraskan who has decades worth of experience in leadership and racial equity. We looked around and we found out there were not a lot of organizations that actually address racism or anti-racism or brought people together to kind of challenge systems and institutions, and particularly nonprofits. I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. Moore hosts community forums and meets with other organizations to discuss and challenge their racial equity practices. About a year or so before COVID-19, we used to do some things with First United Methodist Church would hold community forums. And again, we had one on the police relations. We had one uh, dealing with the gentrification. We invited the Omaha Land Bank, which has uh, some kind of a, a dismal policies and how they operated with North and South Omaha. In addition to hosting conversations about racism and race, more pushes for policy at the city and state levels to address racism when discussing issues like the school to prison pipeline, education and policing. So our organization is committed to doing more of that, calling things as they are, and uh, challenging it. They focus on tackling systemic and institutional racism, but oftentimes those conversations can be difficult. It is sometimes very painful when you speak out and you encounter some of the body blows or somebody threaten your employment or ask where you work at when all you're doing is speaking the truth. Again, you have to have somebody who can facilitate that, but someone who can be comfortable to talk about it. And that, again, we are in 2021. And if you didn't know any better, and again, I grew up in this city, uh, we still practice the same kind of mentality as in the 1950s and 1940s. Moore's focus is to not only recognize racism concerns, but to help institutions move forward and eliminate them. We know what we know. And again, there's some things that are subconscious. I agree with that. But at the end of the day, when you know, what do you do? If the water is running, and the tap is flowing and you want to turn it off, you turn it off. But you're not going to turn it off by using euphemism and making up stuff and dancing around the circle without actually dealing with the reality that's in front of us. We have racism in our society and that word should flow off of people's lips quickly when we need to get rid of that cancer.